YouTube, what's going on, and welcome to How to Be the Cobra Car. If you've ever played Age of Empires 2, I'm sure you've learned a few cheat codes, and you probably remember how do you turn this on. Well, that is the cheat code where you can create a Cobra Car which shoots bullets, which really doesn't fit in the game of Age of Empires, but that's what made it beautiful when the AI had surrounded you and you had no way out. Or before that point, when you just had wanted to have some fun. Now, there are lots of cheat codes, and most of those cheat codes are overpowered. But what this game is, is a pro player fighting against these cheat codes, which we thought were indestructible. So in the blue, uh, we have Fire. The Fire is one of the best Brazilians in the world. Well, he's one of the best Brazilians in Brazil, and he's one of the best players in the world. He was formerly on the Clan Tyrant, and as uh, a top performer for his country. And then we have Tech. Uh, Tech is, uh, he's an American, 1600 player, that's 1600 Vubly, which means he's at a pretty solid level. Definitely knows his build orders and likes to play a lot of hunts. If you're wondering, well, T90, it's got to be impossible to kill that Cobra car. If cheats are on, Tech should be making one right now. Well, yes, uh, obviously, if he were to Tech into <laughs> a Cobra car, uh, Fire would be dead. But the challenge here is simple. Tech can create one Cobra car in this game. And he can create it in Castle Age. Okay, so the cheats are on. Fire will not use any cheats. But if Tech makes it to Castle Age, then he can build a Cobra car. And it is a fight to the death. All right? This is insane. <laughs> this this is beautiful. All around beautiful. Uh, and I can't wait to show this to you. Uh, just a few things to bring up before. I'm still testing the new version of Capture Age. So you see all the zoomy goodness I have with Capture Age. Uh, I, I've never used a game that has cheats with Capture Age, and I don't know if Capture Age works with the Cobra Car. So, if and when that Cobra Car comes, uh, if we have to go back to the normal game, I will be disappointed, but uh, figured I'd let you know. Anyway, so, uh, Tech is in the red. Let's introduce this like we would a, an average cast, alright? Uh, they're playing on Arabia, and you'll notice that Tech has resources surrounding his base, but... It doesn't have everything in one spot to defend, so it could be tough. Uh, his barriers are forward, for example. He has his, his second and his third gold in different spots, his his main and his secondary stone in different spots, and then his main gold here. So that can be good or it, that can be bad. I feel like it's actually quite good in this case, because if you lose one resource, you can run to the other. And same could be said for his wood line. So wood line here, wood line here. Uh, Fire has wasted no time scouting him, and he's already over here. And I guess if we look at Fire's map, which won't be as important because you'd expect Fire to be winning out in the early fights versus Tech. Uh, he his base is is very similar. Um, stones and this gold are forward, but you know Fire is going to be the aggressor here. So I'm I'm really curious to see how much you guys like this idea. Um, I, I've been working on mixing up my YouTube content, and we could possibly have this be a thing and have different players try to do this and make this different episodes. Uh, a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago, I actually tried this on my Twitch stream. And, well, I guess I don't want to tell you how it went, because it was quite a hilarious game. And if you guys would like to see my attempt at this, let me know, and I can upload some of those attempts. Um, that is if I can find them. If not, I'll just do more for you, okay? But, uh, the games that I played were pretty hilarious. I'm surprised I didn't upload them, actually. And I uh, don't want to spoil it, because if you want it, you'll see it, and you'll be able to enjoy it. So, if I know Tech, and Tech is, I wouldn't say a long-time uh, supporter of my channel, but he's been in the community for a while. Uh, Tech loves his Hun Wars, and normal Hun War players like their scouts. That's what you see for the most part. So his Feudal Age time looks like it'll be pretty solid. Uh, he's bringing in lots of food right now. He does see fires running all around him. But just remember, he can lose 5, he can lose 10, he can lose 15 villagers in Feudal Age. The second he gets to Castle Age, he can make a Cobra Car. And Cobra Cars are insanely strong. They can destroy TCs, they can destroy castles, they have 500 HP, and you can repair them. So Fire not only needs to damage Tech, but he needs to keep him away from Castle Age for as long as possible. And here he comes. Oh, look at this. Tech seems to notice these shepherds are walking forward. Three female villagers walking forward in orderly fashion. And Fire realizes he's been spotted. And what, what Fire's going to do 
is a very classic Hun War build. I wasn't around back then, or I wasn't casting Age or playing Age back then, but I think it was 2004, 2005, or at least early to mid 2000s, it was very popular to go full trash. Whereas nowadays you'll see a lot of player go, players go scouts. So Tech is familiar with the current build, uh, the scout build. And he did see the villagers, so at least he has that. But unfortunately for him, since... Oh no, actually, Fire's leaving the scout. Um, but unfortunately for him, Fire, he, he has to be aggressive. And he has to bring the pain. And Fire is actually walling in these resources nice and early. You know what? If you look at Fire's scouting, he sees this gold, he sees this stone, he sees this gold as well. So if he could somehow get to all the resources and keep Tech away from Castle Age, he might have a chance. So the idea of this build is you make spears to counter any scouts and then the counter to your spears would be skirmishers or archers and then you just start making your own skirms already. The weakness of this build, because it does counter everything that can come your way, the, the weakness is that you don't have mobility. So you need to mass enough where you're always a threat to your opponent. If you're a threat at all times, they can never go to your base. You never need to defend yourself. That's the thought process. So it is going to look like Fire is a completely different class, all right? Uh, he's denying the berries with a tower now. He has a scowl, he has spears, he has skirms. Just keep in mind, don't judge Tech too heavily, because the guy, he's a, a solid level player, and he's up against a top 20 player in the world, all right? Well, he's building a defensive tower. Now, I think the, the timing on this was too late. But he should, what he can do is garrison his tower, and then he should then also send his villagers to the base of this tower to batter it down. He should do both. Now, he's not done both, but I know Tech's going to watch this, and he's the first not going to like the fact that I've uploaded it. But yeah, Tech, that's what you need to do. Garrison with five. Actually, ungarrison these five onto this tower, and then garrison five more, and you batter that thing down immediately so it doesn't shoot you like this. Because you see, he's lost, he'll lose that farmer probably, and now he's losing a little bit more over here. So fire already has a seven villager lead. Oh, it's just a few towers and trash units. And tech doesn't even have the economy to make scouts now because of this pressure, so... Life's not very good for tech. He's not enjoying this, I'm sure. But he just needs to remember that all he needs to do is get to Castle Age. That's all. But already fire so far ahead. If this was a competitive 1v1 and there were no cheat codes, this would be game over. Or just flat out game over. Okay, now he's thinking about what I said earlier. Uh, he will kill this tower, but uh, he lost that villager, which I expected earlier. And I guess he's, he's struggling over here as he has some idle time. You look at fire space, everything's looking pretty good. His eco is safe. He's been creating villagers at all times, things you would expect from a pro. And he's also scouting beautifully. Because I think if Tech could just get to gold, he could use the market somehow to get to Castle Age. But if Fire denies all three golds and the stones, then he's in a good spot. So he's denied one gold. So one down, two more to go. And he'll even wall in this stone for now. Now Tech desperately needs a new wood line. Because uh, these lumberjacks are slowly getting whittled down, and they're not efficient at all. Oh my god, did he did he deleted the... Uh, I guess he needed to run past, so he's running away, gotcha, okay. So that's why he deleted the lumber camp. He's built a new one here, so maybe he'll collect some wood, and maybe he should just run. Run, run, Rudolph. Tech could be using the scout to scout for other resources as well, but... He's not doing that because he's overwhelmed at the moment, doing his best to create fills. And he's actually running on back as Fire, I think, is looking for him. No, Fire's just, Fire's content to wall up all the resources. He's walled up this stone. He's walled up this gold. This is what you have to do. All right, I need to spoil someone. In one of my three attempts, all right, in one of my three attempts at this challenge, I had my opponent below 12 population and he beat me because he, he got to castle age and he got a cobra car so not a complete spoiler but i just want you guys because because now it seems like a steamroll and now it seems like why am i even watching this 
But just, just wait, okay? Just, just wait, trust me. This, I guess you can see how long this video is, so you can see that this is going to be a grind for fire. So there's the market for tech. That's going to be the key to victory for him. And fire has one more gold to wall, and if he walls in this gold, tech will not have his golds, he will not have his stones. He honestly won't even have a wood line soon. That's how ridiculous this is. So I think if tech is really stubborn, He's probably going to get to Castle Age. What Fire needs to do is delay that as long as humanly possible. So, he's done a beautiful job. <laughs> this completely surrounding uh, tech. The 38 villagers to 28 villagers. He obviously has eco that's more efficient. So, he's probably four or five times ahead when it comes to the economy, if not more. But, he could be 10 times. He could be 20 times the population. And a Cobra car can still kill everything. There's really... Not much you can do to kill a Cobra car. Uh, the best thing you can do against a Cobra car would be to, to make monks and convert it. But the rules on this as well is that you couldn't convert it. And also, uh, they're Huns. So Huns do not get redemption, which is the tech that you need to convert Siege. Wait, hold on a second. You know what? I don't think you need redemption to convert a Cobra car. Monks still have... Uh, sorry, Huns still have crappy monks. And that's one of the rules, is that you can't go for a conversion. So Tech has 200 food, and you can tell he's an experienced player, because he's trying his best to keep his TC producing at all times. I almost feel like that's a bad thing in this case. Because villagers, they're not going to help you now. You're just going to lose them eventually. So just get to Castle Age, Tech. It's funny to say that. Just get to Castle Age, Tech. Because he needs the technology, Castle Age. <laughs> hmm. So he doesn't have wood for whatever he's about to build. And Fire is following him. And Fire is on the way to the Castle Age. So extending that lead. The tech is getting closer and closer and closer to Castle Age. When I say that, he's still 500 food away. He's still microing lumberjacks. Oh no, he's getting attacked by wolves! Woo woo woo! I guess he remembered the scout. That's helpful. Not. Did he find a gold though? Oh man, imagine if he would have scouted with that guy. It's called a scout, it's not called a stand. Jeez. Well, maybe Fire won't be able to find him. Fire's going to the right hand side. He also doesn't know that there's a gold over here, but I'm sure he'll find him. He's looking everywhere. Great scouting already. Building an additional tower behind this wood line. But now, 60 gold, 300 food, and... No, that's it. That's all that separates tech from Castle Age, and then tech from a Cobra car. And fingers crossed that I can use the follow function with Capture Age... A follow a Cobra card. This will be a first, I think, for Capture Age, and certainly a first for me. Ooh. And also, to be honest, I think it's the first time I've ever uploaded a YouTube video with a Cobra card. <laughs> so, no, 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 I lied. There was one, one other time. Um, and if you're looking for that, I think it was titled something like The Game That Rewrote History. Uh, I won't... It's, it's complicated. Alright, just find it and put that on your list of things to watch. So take a look at Fire's base for a second. He's on two TCs, three TCs, four TCs soon, creating more vills, as you would expect. He needs to prepare something, because Tech is going to get there eventually. You know, what Fire should have probably done was build a siege workshop and push this TC now that I'm thinking about it. But that would be boring. Then I'd say, oh, okay, well, Fire killed him before he could get to Castle Age. Okay, that was kind of expected, but Fire instead is giving Tech a chance to see if he could survive. He's testing his own abilities. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll get our wolf kill, I think. Oh no, she has the hill bonus! Look at her go! Wow, what a strong, confident blue woman. Tech is on the way up! Tech is on the way up to Castle Age. 
<laughs> and he's, he's garrisoned everything. Like, let's go. All right. So, fire has one, two, three, four, five town centers producing now. He has 53 villagers. He is not in position to kill Cobra Car. The Cobra Car can still destroy him. That's how crazy this thing is. Now, I actually forgot how overpowered the things were because I've been playing competitively and casting and not using cheat codes for a while. I definitely recall using them. I remember I went through a progression of... Um, I remember I started off going Cobra Car, and then when I was a real man, I started using the cheats for resources. So uh, I didn't have to worry about economy like Fire's doing. I mean, excellent job of producing vills out of most of his TCs. What will Fire's response be when he sees Tech is in Castle Age? That's my question. Well, you're about to get answers, as am I. Forget about Tech's economy, forget about the fact that he could barely co collect resources, alright? It's not important. What's important is, how do you turn this on? Can I follow it as well? Uh... Cobra car? Okay, follow? Yes, it's working! We could zoom in on it! Look at this! Now, I don't know who's driving, but it looks like he has some tint on the windows. There he goes. So, um, fun little stat here with the new capture age. If you look to the bottom right of the Cobra car, it will show you how much, how many kills this thing dishes out. Alright? So I'm ready to see that stat get, get, uh, sky high. And here's the Cobra car. So, stat wise, it does 10 attack. Um, it has tons of armor. And it has 500 HP. And there you go. You see that little skull there? It says how many kills, how many raises, how much damage it's done to buildings. That's going to be fun to look at. <laughs> Just watch the KD. Fire's KD was so good. Tech can just destroy everything with this. The Fire did build a castle, but he doesn't have enough castles elsewhere. So, Fire was over 100 population and Tech hit Castle Age with uh, like 30 pop. Fire has only taken 70 HP off of this Cobra car. He's getting destroyed. Look at the damage it's already done. 11 kills, 1 raising. This is cool. This is actually the first time I've really used this. I like how he's also... Oh, the other thing is the range. So you have 10 range. So you can outrange the TC fire. So you should never get shot by the TC unless you're being sloppy. Can you see why why we used this thing when we were young? <laughs> Makes a lot of sense now. I don't think... Oh, this does friendly fire! I never picked up on that, probably because I wasn't making any units. Alright. What if one of the villagers cried out? I call shotgun. Oh my god, fire! He has the right idea, but I don't think he could build this. It's at 70%, 73%, 75%, 80%. Oh, God. His population is dropping like it's hot. Oh, boy. Hold on a second. Tech is attacking the castle. He needs to attack the bills. There we go. So I guess what Tech could try and do is kill some of these towers so he could boom up Eco again. But why even? Why even? Oh, it's a slaughter. 40 kills for this Cobra car, but you know what? That castle is going up. That castle is going up. Fire has the villagers to waste. This is a bit more realistic. Car is not so realistic, but... Civilization's throwing away villagers for the cause. That's a little bit more realistic. And, and Fire... Is in a nice position because his TC is shooting the Cobra car, and the castle will shoot it when it runs away. But the Cobra car is not even half dead. Surely there's no way back for fire. That's what I'm thinking now. There, there's got to be no way. If tech plays this correctly, fire's population is only going to go down and down and down and down. I think the only thing is, if tech screws up and doesn't repair this thing, then it can be tough. But it even can dodge the castle fire. The ballistics won't even help because the Cobra car is too fast. 
Let's use that follow again. Boom, there it goes. Vroom, 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 vroom. I actually don't hear any vrooms. Except when you click on it. Is this a Tesla? What are you doing, Elon? Oh, wow, there's a Tarkin rating there. Alright. Well, 65 kills for this car. The fire has 66 population. Now, I am not sure if... Uh, I'm really not sure if... Um, what, why am I getting distracted by this one skull down here? Let me just look at it. I think this is friendly fire. I think that skull is friendly fire. But anyways, I'm not sure if you need certain resources to repair this thing. Like Maybe you need wood and gold because it cl it's classified as a siege unit. I'm, I'm not sure on that one. But I think Tech needed to repair that thing and then come right back over here because he's given Fire a little bit of time to build up his castles. But he probably thinks, ah, oh, this is stupid. I could never lose. Let's give Fire a chance now like he gave me a chance earlier. But just keep an eye on the res for Tech. Tech is building another TC, so he's also booming while he's doing this. Now... I'm 97.1% sure that the rule was you couldn't convert these. I think Fire is just going for the relics. Yeah, he's just going for the relics. I, I just wanted to make sure I was correct when I had said that earlier. 69 kills. Nice. But the Cobra car is getting really weak. Now, if this Cobra car dies, the road ends for this car. And the road ends for Tech. Tech would then be dead. That TC is going to go down, but it's done a decent amount of damage there. I think Fire really needs Bodkin Arrow for his castles, because every bit of damage that the arrows do to the car might not scratch up the paint job, but it adds up. Wait, is this a convertible? I can't even tell. Now, I'm getting a bit anxious. 122 HP out of 500. All right, watch the resources at the bottom left. Oh, wait. No, he queued up bills. I don't think you need any resources to repair this thing. But it seems like it takes a while. Yeah, I'm not seeing his gold go down. I'm not seeing his wood go down. Hmm. I guess you don't need gold or wood or food or stone to make a car, so... It would make sense. Alright. Well, fire is up to 90 population. He is getting Bod Canero now, and the strat for him has to be expansion. If he's in eight places at once with Eco, nine places at once with Eco now, I think, uh, Tech can only hit one spot at the same time. But Tech can destroy the entire economy in two seconds. Castles are doing work, though. The, the car is already back down to 286 HP, 280 HP. Look at the damage it's done. 89 kills. I'm not even sure what more fire can do against it. Except try and run and run and run. Which is why this is quite a long video. <laughs> but the fact that he's not dead yet is really impressive. Now, I know that Fire's tried this. I know Hera has tried this. I know there were a few pros who have tried this. There's only been one successful attempt and I won't spoil it. But this is what it looks like. This is what the struggle's like. Man, I have so much, so many things I want to say, and there's a proper order I should say it. So I always have to say I won't spoil it, even though I want to talk about it. I won't, though. Triple digit kills for Tex Car. And <laughs> just, he almost hit the deer. Now that's not realistic. Come on, if that was my car, that deer would have hopped out right in front of me. Why are deer immune to hit and runs in this game? Someone needs to contact Bill Gates about this. Come on, Bill. You didn't have the budget to add that in? Jeez. Okay, so I guess more repairs are needed. There we go. Repair. At least it takes a while. I think Tech is getting impatient. He's like, nah. Let's go back forward. I'll be fine. But he's getting raided by Tarkins over here, so Fire's making some Tarkins, just in Castle Age. Raiding the economy. And the Tarkins probably will not offer all that much versus these cars. 
Uh, yeah, the tech will just repair as he's getting attacked. He's repairing faster than fire. Oh, jeez. Then fire can do damage to him. I, I can't pause, but fire has TC here, here, here. Actually, we zoom out, double click TCs. He has seven town centers producing villagers. Seven town centers. Firehead will have two relics if this monk makes it back. Oh, he's in the castle now. Nice. He took some damage, too. But he made it. Oh my god, I love how Capturage shows the car at the bottom right. That's amazing. I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh, man. So cool. So cool that a pro player would do this for us, you know? I didn't do this specifically for me, but I did ask Fire to send me the recorded game once I heard the rumors. The castle's the way to go. Playing defensive and expanding is definitely the way to go. Tech, I think you need to forget about creating extra villagers and just use your villagers to repair this. Like, repair it to full health, because you're being way too hesitant now. Stop chopping the wood. Bring those axes over here. And start hammering. Well, no, don't don't axe up the car, but start hammering away and repair this thing, man. Really, one villager? He's too caught in the mind of, oh, let's play standard. Let's reboom like we should in this game. I know there's a lot of YouTube viewers who are frowning upon you right now. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm trying to follow this car. There he goes. Apologies if I'm making you dizzy. I'm kind of making myself dizzy if it makes you feel better. 124 kills for tech. Now, fire is getting ballistics, and normally projectiles do not miss with ballistics. But that is against normal units. But fire is on the way to the Imperial Age. That would be hilarious if that was his MTC, but it's not. And he'll just give that one up. He has plenty more. Plenty more places for jobs, guys. All right. Now, they really want to work here. They like the benefits. Not sure if it's worth the stress. Okay, Tech, give me a big old repair, buddy. Come on, double-click them all. And give it a repair. Okay, this is better. There we go. There we go. That's faster. Supercharge it up. And get to killing, man. Now, Fire has been raiding where he can. Uh, I say where he can because there's obviously a big wheelie distraction. But, you know, an imp? Fire, should he go for range? Should he go for melee? Should he go for everything? He does have gold. I think one thing that Tech could have possibly done was, was got his resources back at home by killing these towers earlier instead of letting fire take them and fire have the walls up. But then again, he would have let fire free boom. So you can always make arguments against that. Now, I'm not sure what rule they were playing with, but I also said that uh, my opponents could make one if they made it to the Imperial Age as well, uh, which is, is kind of dumb. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I don't make wise decisions. I'm 26 years old, sitting at my computer at midnight, talking about a 20-year-old game that has a cheat code with a car. That is the extent of how good my decisions are in life. Actually, you know what? I, I have no shame. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. And, and Tech's population is at 75 and Fire is at 150. So Fire is getting uh, Bracer, Two-Man two Saw, Conscription... Oh, he's castled over here. 140 kills for tech. He has 311 HP. But now the castle will do slightly more damage. And tech might be thinking, there's no way I can lose this, right? There's just no way. How can I lose this? I've used a freaking cheat code. Well, you got to repair more, buddy. It's got to be hit and run, repair. Hit and run, repair. Hit and run, repair. That's how the villagers have to be used, in my humble opinion. 
Nice castle from fire. It is tough for the Cobra cars to kill the uh, the castles because the castles outrange them. So I guess you could you could hit, dodge, hit, dodge, hit, dodge, but that would take forever. So the fact that fire has what is it like five castles? Yeah, five castles is fantastic. Um, this is what that's uh, not what fire can see. Sorry, this is what fire can see. So he scouted most of the map. He's, he's snagging the relics for gold. The resources are only resources, though. It still doesn't give him an answer to the Cobra car. <laughs> Look, he wants to build a town center here. He's getting slaughtered. 174 kills for tech, mainly with this car. And now he's back for another supercharge. This video is sponsored by Elon Musk. Uh, Elon promised me that he would give me a, a new Tesla Roadster if I had tech play in the red. <clears throat> Elon, please. <laughs> I, I can't afford one, but I would, I would sure love one. I, I would treat it well. I would repair it more often than tech repairs his Roadster. Mm. Yeah, maybe this is the way to do it. Just constant repairs, and then, and fight. Spanish would be OP for this. Get to Imperial Age with Spanish and get uh, the upgrades on your villagers. Man, that car is really loud. It's much louder than all the other noises. I didn't account for that, but, but yeah. I like how he damages his own TCs with the bullets. Oh boy. To finally took this thing to full HP. That's what I'm talking about. But Fire is 200 population, and Fire, he's just gonna waltz right in here with Tarkins. He's elite Tarkins. They destroy buildings faster than the Cobra car will. And Fire's just surviving. He's probably playing I Will Survive. I will survive. I don't know the lyrics. That's, uh, no, those are the only lyrics I know. So Tech loses his main TC, and if Fire can just outproduce and outrun, it'd be pretty badass. But take a look at this for me. <laughs> take take a look at this for me. <laughs> Watch this. Tech's repairing the Cobra car, and the Tarkins are just melting. You've no chance. You know how Fatsov walls up and tries to outlast his opponents? Well, Tex just needs to outlast Fire with the Cobra car. Until Fire's completely out of res. Problem is, you will need villagers to repair, and the villager count for Tech is getting lower and lower and lower, and Tech, you need to bail. Tech, you need to bail, my friend. Uh, 178, uh, no, you know what? He's okay. He's okay, but here's not good. Here he's dying again, and I guess that's what you do. You, you kill all the villagers, so the car cannot be repaired. Fire's getting guilds and blast furnace. Blast furnace means more attack for these Tarkins. We're actually doing better than I originally expected. Oh, Tech, run away, run away, run away! Your car's about to overheat. Oh, it, the game ends here. The game ends here. And he calls the GG, he gives it up, to be honest, though. While, yes, he could have run all around, and while he could have uh, micro-nerded, as we say nowadays, his villagers were dead. Um, he didn't have any more villagers at home. These villagers were all about to get slaughtered. So, it was game over. Fire made this look easy. Um, every other person who has tried this has failed. Fire did it a bunch of times and apparently failed before. Um, he's, he's a beast, and I think he had a good strategy to wall in the resources. This was probably not his first time, because he knew how aggressive he needed to be, and, uh, the KD wasn't pretty, but he did all right. Um, so guys, I encourage you to try this with your friends. If you're out there and you play Age a decent amount, and your friend's not about it because, you know, you're better than him and it's no fun to get stomped, try this challenge. Let's see what happens. Uh, and, and if you would like... Uh, maybe send me the game. It, my business email, which I rarely check, is t90xvi at gmail.com. Uh, but I'll tell you that I get a lot of games sent there, okay, and no promises. 
So thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm mixing it up with content. I'll be casting more mid-level games, more things like this. Obviously, mainly commentary on my channel, but I'm trying to strive to entertain you guys more often because I know since I create the same type of content in Age of Empires all the time, a lot of you guys can, can get bored of it. If you happen to be new to the YouTube channel, obviously consider a like or a subscription or whatever, but if not, hope you enjoyed your time watching the beautiful game. I was going to do the outro there, but I should probably show you the achievements, so let's look at that. Uh, boom. Here we are. Um, the KD doesn't look as impressive because Tech created villagers that he ended up losing to Fire's Raids. Uh, but look at the economy difference. Uh, 13,000 food for Tech. That's a surprising number, to be honest. And then a Fire had 32,000 food, 23,000 wood, 42,000 stone, and 18,000 gold. That's a timeline you've probably never seen before. That little red bar, that little red bar of military was a Cobra car. And then I guess Tech did make some pikemen later, so that's probably why the military bar is higher for him. But it was all fire. He destroyed Tech. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you next time.